Right, hello my gravy granules, um, back with another sort of first impressions videos, yes this game came out in <clears throat> January, however I'm only just getting around to it because it was on sale and you know people sort of asking me to try it, so here I am. Um, I will start off by acting like an adult and saying this game might not be for me because um, I'm not sure if it's like exactly like um, God Eater resurrection and all that shit but i i fucking loathe that game like i'm supposed to be doing a let's play of it and it's just so boring so uh, hopefully this is uh, amazing you know it sold what seven million copies so hopefully it should be good so start game yes we'll uh, go for about an hour i think although you've probably already seen the time code for th fuck that for a laugh and <laughs> back to it i'm not sure how much story is actually going to be in the uh, first couple of minutes can imagine there'll be uh, quite a bit so i might skip some of it sisters and brothers of the fifth fleet it's time i'll keep my farewell brief never was much with words once you board this ship there's no turning back the next ground your feet will touch will be that of the new world if any of you have lost your nerve, then step away now, and let no one judge you. Very well. Then sail safe and strong, and may the Sapphire Star light your way. World. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, should mention one of the things I did was um, prioritize frame rate for this. So um, if it does look a bit smoother than uh, your version of the game, that would be why. Aww. <laughs> it's an actual cat. I just thought it was like a monster thingy, but it's a cat. I thought I was a lesbian for a moment. <laughs> uh, <laughs> just a joke. Feels like ages since I left home to join the commission. So nervous. Believe you me, I get it. Anything could happen to us, but hey, that's yep. happening. Uh. Hey, aren't you one of the A-list hunters? What? No way. So are we. Hey, tell us your name. Let me guess, goes into character creation now. Oh, fuck it, I'll be female. Hang on, what? Can, am I not allowed to change my name yet? Presets. Hmm, that one's alright. For some reason, that's the only one that looks like kind of young. Massive forehead. I think it's because you've got a ponytail. Oh, there's more. I do like I do like the graphics of this. It looks pretty uh, cool. No. Uh, yes, I wanted that one, didn't I? Uh, am I? N oh, confirm. Mm -hmm. Fucking stupid. Hmm. Yeah, so now you get to see me create a character, which is, you know, always going to be fun. Bob haircuts for the women. Actually, go through all of the options. Looks relatively normal, that one. Do, do, do. Oh, what the fuck? Am I not allowed to... Hmm, I would have thought the... Oh, there we go. The fuck, that didn't make any difference. Oh, because you got to have wrinkles. And haven't got any, because they're young. 
Okay. Bit weird. Hairstyle. I was going to try and make a character from, like, a different game. <laughs> make Kai from Samurai Warriors or something. I quite like that one, but... You know, it looks a bit mannish. Oh. Hmm. Do do do. <laughs> Go bold. It <laughs> looks so fucking weird. <laughs> Good for that. That's pretty cool, I think. Is there any other ponytails? No. Do do do. Yeah, that'll do. Eyebrows. That's actually really cool. It actually gets you. It little actually lets you change like the types as well and how like thick they are and stuff. That's not bad. Go for that. Yes, yeah, so I'm sort of the expert at making characters in games like this. Well, apparently, because I'm the only person I know of that people seem to l really like my uh, custom warriors in. Like samurai warriors and stuff. Do do do. It's me talking out of my ass, probably. Do do do. Hmm. It's my least favorite part doing. It's the eyes. I do like the amount of options you get given as well. That's pretty good, I think. Eye colour, change both. Jesus, that's weird. Hmm. Right, so you got to give them black eyes. Nose. Fairly happy with that. Hmm, actually, I might change the face again. Because. I don't know, it just looks really weird. Actually, I'm. I think it's just because she keeps sort of like. breathing. Oh, look, I'm not allowed facial hair. <laughs> Give him a scar. Oh, holy shit, that's cool. We want, we want dark colours so you can actually fucking see it. Uh, brightness. Do, 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 do. <laughs> no, I think. Unless I go for blue. No, I think that kind of ruins it, doesn't it? Right. Oh. <laughs> I like how you can change the position of it as well. That's that's quite a neat touch. Go for purple. There's a lot of, uh, what do you call it, having a lot of button pressing in this, which is a bit annoying. Um, that'll do, I think. I don't know. I do like how much there is, though. Oh, cool, That it keeps the things, that's quite nice. Except it won't let me see it, because it keeps fucking highlighting it. Because, you know, that's that's important, apparently. So I have to go all the way down here to change it. Hmm. I do like do like that. Hmm. Do 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 do. Yeah, I'll have a uh, time code on the thing if you want to skip all this.
Do, 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 do. You're literally watching a man play a game where we're making a character and picking the makeup. Lower layer? Fucking hell. Oh, cool. I get two. Let's give her lipsticks. It'd be funny. No, that's that's fucking terrible. Hmm. Give her a scar. I hate that how it counts as makeup though. Hmm. Do do do. Yeah. Fuck it. Give her that. Stop caring. <laughs> Right, what well, minimum transparency? A bit less brightness. No. What's going on? I like how I've wasted like 10 minutes doing this. Fuck it, like it, make it really metallic as well. That's not making it metallic, it just makes it look darker. A bit glossy as well. That'll do. I'm, I, I've literally just ruined all the work I've done. But whatever, I, I'm pretty sure I can change it later. Uh, oh. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's pretty weird. That, that's going to be the thumbnail. <laughs> that's actually amazing. Clothing. Holy shit. Damn, she thick boy. Hmm. Am I not allowed to... Fuck it, that's purple. Uh, I don't even care. I'm only going to be able to change clothing anyway. Oh, what the fuck? Voice. <laughs> Bloody how many voices are there? 20. Fuck it, I'll do. Don't care, I'll change some of this later anyway. Select your default default armor. Almost a default. Hmm, she looks pretty weird. No armor, fuck it. You'll be, still be able to change your equipment after you start the game. Fuck it, I have to go for that then, I reckon. Finish! Enter your name. My name is... Oh, look, the first one says... Why is there two? Is this name okay? You can't You can't have a name like that in your thing. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I have to create a cat now. I don't like cats, but... You know, whatever. He can be evil. Oh, that's pretty cool, actually. Fur... Hmm. Thick. Bloody hell. Tone that down a bit. Yeah, sorry, I haven't really got much to say. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, to be honest, I don't really. I'm not really bothered by that. He can be called Jeff Sessions or something, I don't know. Um, ooh, what should we call him? Let's call him, you know what, um, seeing as he died recently, let's uh, name him in honour of Total Biscuit. Yeah, he, uh, 
yeah, very is still quite shocked by um by that actually. <laughs> what the fuck? To the A list and the commission. Cheers. <laughs> So, tell me, what's your theory? The Elder Dragons must migrate to the New World for some reason. After running the research commission for 40 odd years, the guild's itching for an answer. They say the Fifth Fleet's got the best shot at crack in this case, and I agree! Keep it down. Hey, speaking of, A-listers usually operate in teams of two. Have you sat down with your partner yet? What in the fuck? Listen to that. <sighs> Getting rough out there. The waves are picking up. That's gotta mean landfall. <laughs> You're on the A-list, right? Huh, meow do <laughs> I'm not psychic, but I do have pretty good ears. Ah, put her there. I happen to be an A-lister myself. Oh, whoa! What the fuck? Like, the lip syncing for her was, like, well bad. <clears throat> that, was, that was, like, kind of off-putting in a way. I do like how much interaction your character actually has in this, and compared to something like God Eater, where they just fucking stand there as all the action goes on. At least they're actually part of it. I do, uh, I do like that. Holy moly. <laughs> Holy shit. Damn, he dead, son. <clears throat> Bloody hell. I don't want to die. I was going to say, I thought we lost our goggles then. Oh. Okay, this is pretty cool. Hello? Yeah, not bad at all. Or R1 to dash. Oh, bloody hell, you can actually climb walls. That's pretty cool. Although it does look pretty weird. No shit. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, I mean, there's only lava around everywhere. It's not safe. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm quite enjoying this already. <laughs> what in the name? I presume when you actually get to like hunting monsters, there's uh, actual um, natural like stamina meter. Yeah, that's the one thing I don't like about this game already is the fucking <laughs> climbing. It just looks so fucking weird. It's like really janky. Hurry! Climb over. Uh... I don't have don't have a clue where I'm supposed to be going. I presume. It's actually down. Oh, okay. I forgot you could do that. Yeah, I'm just gonna have my hands burnt from climbing this fucking molten rock. Holy man.
Do, do, do. I didn't actually get to jump myself. <laughs> you just have your arm fucking dislocate in midair as well. Let me guess it's actually a monster. Yeah. A fort show. It'd be cool if that's like a boss at the end of the game or something. Holy shit. Well, yeah, you just have been dragging him down for like the last fucking <laughs> couple of minutes. No shit, he's, uh, he's going to drop you. Do, 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 do. What's this? Somebody must have set up this camp. I do, I do, um, yeah, the graphics in this look well good. I found this in the tent. It has a map in it. Well, part of one at least. Do, do, do open and close map. Looks like we're right around here. The research oh. commission's base of operations is here. This is where our ship was supposed to dock. For now, I think it would be best if we make our way to base. Mm. The map should help us find our way. I've got a fucking weapon though. Oh, can I find any collectibles? Who knows? Dinosaurs. <coughs> hmm. Look, the research commission's headquarters. Come on, let's get going. Not too far away. I wonder if they attack. Hopefully not. Hopefully they're sort of a bit docile. To the map to get to HQ, we need to. Hmm. What is she doing? Right, I'm just gonna fucking make a break for it. These oh, seem every bit as docile as the ones back home. Oh, look at those little birds, they look like apples. It looks like we need to go around. Looks. You haven't even told me your name. Do 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 do. Aww. Hmm. Something's up. The scout flies are gathering. Scout flies. What like the things in Jack and Daxter? Yeah, this game does look pretty nice. I'm not sure um what the oh, difference would be if it. I put it in. Uh, Resolution based. I had the scout flies memorize my scent earlier. If you lose sight of me, just follow the scout flies, and they'll lead you right to me. I don't even know what a scout fly looks like in this game. Push through we vines. Push our way through these vines. <coughs> hmm. Oh, 
Let me guess, this is where we do combat. Or we get saved. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, the coast is clear. Let's get going while the we art of hair. camouflage. I do like how it gives a sort of uh, thing like that. Hmm. I'm honestly surprised it didn't do combat then, but then the only thing we have is a knife, isn't it? Oh, that was cool. That you can just walk through there straight away. Do, do, do. Stop us. Climb down. Uh, I was I was holding down on the analog stick, and she's trying to move move to the left. <laughs> We're getting pretty close. What is this? Trap? Look at all those chickens. Oh. It says something in old footprints. There's more over there. Let's check it out. Do, 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 do. Very, very open this game, isn't it? I suppose that is sort of the nature of this nature of it. <laughs> Bloody hell. Why is everybody voiced by Matthew Mercer? I'm pretty sure that's who it is anyway. Hurry this way. In subtitles. <laughs> okay, it was a cutscene. Fuck's sake. Let me guess the tail hits her. Maybe not. <laughs> that, was a, that was a bit cartoonish, wasn't it? Hey. You alright? Let's go. Okay. Do, 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 do. I like how most most of this game so far has been running. But yeah, I think um get straight to sort of like gameplay in this. I do I do enjoy that over something something else, some other games where literally just fucking talking because you need you know you need 200 hours Amazing, of uh Dialogue and story explaining. To build a stara right here. A stara. I like it. <laughs> the rest of the fifth are already here. You're the last to arrive. Alive. Had a rough, huh? Hey. When we couldn't find you two, we were starting to sweat bullets. You scared us. We were talking about going out to look for you. <laughs> All's well that ends well. Hey, we need a hand. Sorry. Come on. Catch you later. <laughs> <laughs> this here's our trade yard. I guess the name says it all. Look at all the people, the stuff. 
Incredible, right? <laughs> We've got it all here. We've got hunters to do all the exploring, scholars to do the research, technicians to keep them going. This place is the beating heart of the commission. Wait here a sec. Commander, I found him. Welcome to Astera. I'm glad you made it. Somehow I knew you would, though. And you've been in command as long as I have, you start to learn who's capable and who isn't. Now, as much as I'd like to get you up to speed, I'm being pulled in about eight directions at once. We'll cover the important matters at Council, which I'll be convening once things settle down. I expect you two to be there, of course. Your reputations precede you. The good speak highly of you as individuals. Think, think what you can do as a team. And before I forget, your fairy friend was looking for you, poor thing, washed up not too long ago. Go ahead and have a look around at Astera. A horn will sound when it's time for council. Off you go. Let me guess, okay. it's one of those things where I'll you get to go mentor. around... Let's start by looking for your palico. When you go around, um, as soon as you've seen everything, the horn goes off. Carry most of the basic necessities. You should drop by later to see what they have. <laughs> I like how you can walk through people. That's pretty weird. I've, I don't think I've seen too many... Um, Games that do that. Next is the smithy. It's this way. Smithy. Over here. Hmm. Have we found your palico? Yeah. You were the commission's fifth fleet, right? The old man in charge, my grandfather, was with the first. That was a long time ago. Me. No shit. Not with any fleet. Born and bred right here. Never even been to the old world. Do 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 do. Bloody hell! This place is absolutely massive. Here's our smithy. This is where you can craft weapons and armor. You'll be here a lot. Wow! Look at this place. Want to check it out? Ooh, it's toasty in here. Next up is the canteen. Let's check it out. There you are, Fiber. That was quite rough. Where's your gear? You need equipment, a weapon at least, and then we'll talk. Oh. Wanna get going? Canteen. The canteen? I am so there. Bloody hell. Well, I didn't realise it'd be this big. I, I have seen, like, a bit, few bits of gameplay of this, but... One thing I do know is apparently the dual daggers or dual swords or some shit are absolute shit in this game, I think. They're either really good or really shit, so... I don't know, I'll just go for, like... I don't know. We'll uh, decide weapons when we actually get there. This here's our canteen. But what if it rains? you are all here let us begin council after tracking a migrating elder dragon across the sea the fifth fleet have finally arrived in Astera. give them a warm welcome they're a fine group worthy comrades who will help see the research commission's long efforts finally rewarded oh my god i just realized it's um the guy who does sojiro in Persona 5 and lubu would you like to say a few words thank you sir we're ready to roll up our sleeves and get our hands dirty. This here is the Commission's core team. You should all get to know each other. Looking forward to it. 
Now, down to business. Didn't tell me any of their names. The latest monster to make the Elder Crossing is known as Zora Magdaros. A huge monster with a mountain of fire upon its back. The Research Commission's job is to discover exactly why the Elder Dragons are migrating to the New World. Elder Dragons have been with us since the dawn of time. Altering the ecosystem, reshaping the land, leaving disaster in their wake. Once every decade or so, they flock to this continent. But for what reason? With the Fifth's help, we will find the missing link. Here, here. Now we're talking! Hunters, for the time being, I need you to focus on investigating our Jagras problem and securing Astera. Start by investigating the Jagras' habitat. Find out what makes them tick, and we'll go from there. Right. We're on it, sir. Everyone else, you know the drill. Make sure these hunters have everything they need. Now, now we're talking! You two, make it a priority to learn how we do things around here. You'll find good teachers, so don't be afraid to ask. You heard him. Stick with me and you'll have no problems. The Fifth Banner promises a change in the wind. It's your job to fulfill that promise. All right, dismissed. Why does everybody look like they're absolutely fucking jacked up on steroids? Like ev like everybody has fucking broadest shoulders I've ever fucking seen in my life. <laughs> Not even a whole day here and already got your first mission. You really <coughs> excuse me. You really are. You really are ready to get your hands dirty. Mm, can't read. Well, let's look into this Jagras problem, but you'll need a weapon Over first. Here. There's a box full of equipment you can use in your quarters. Come on, I'll show you the way. Actually, that guy looks relatively normal. No, he's still got pretty broad shoulders. Oh, that's... How lucky! My house is right fucking here. <laughs> Hmm. Equip a weapon. Well, equip a weapon from an item box. Does this guy really have to stay in my room as well? Just me and my pussy want to be in this room. And yes, I did choose that word for a joke. We've placed some basic gear for you in that equipment box. Make sure to choose a weapon that suits you. TB. Change equipment. Different weapons offer different combat experiences. Great swords hit for a devastating force, while the sword and shield allow for a quick mobile flurries. The heavy bow gun, while unwieldy, fires powerful blasts, and so on. Choose any weapon and um, take to the field. Okie dokie. I'm tempted to go for the sword and shield. Hunter's knife. Oh, you get a katana. Bagpipe? What the fuck? Notes. Iron gun lance. An axe. How big is the axe, though? Hmm. So that's like a... Hmm. Interesting. A weapon that stores energy in its sword form and releases it in its axe form. A weapon that transforms between a long oh, it's like a fucking great axe. Oriented weapon with a variety of shell attacks. A ranged weapon that sacrifices mo a weapon that lets you charge up power and attack from medium range. Okay, I have no idea what those are. A ranged weapon that frees up movement and lets you fire a variety a ranged weapon, a lightweight weapon that lets you vault into the air and control iron blade. A close a close range weapon that facilitates fluid combos and evasion. Bloody hell, it's like massive. A close range weapon set that lets you maneuver quickly and guard against attacks. Close range offensive weapons that are used to deal a rapid flurry of blows. Hmm, a iron hammer. To strike monsters at point blank range and yeah, I don't. It stores energy in its sword form and releases it in its axe form. Hmm. A defense-oriented weapon with a variety of shell- I don't want a fucking defense weapon. I'll have that. That looks pretty cool, actually. Right, you cannot remove weapons. 
Uh, have I got... Oh, it's only chainmail, isn't it? Damn it! Oh, we'll go for the chainmail belt, though. That looks pretty cool. Why are all the weapons massive? <laughs> like, what the fuck? Actually, you know what? I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm actually going to pick the dual swords for a joke. You can get more familiar with your weapon. For, it did say it was uh, easy for um, beginners, so fuck it. Um, just check how I've actually got them equipped. Let's see? Not as big there. I don't know where they're hiding, though. Do, do, do. I will get a comment saying don't use the dual swords or something, but whatever. Now that you have access to the armory and provision stockpile, grab what you need. Once you're done, go meet up with Handel in the canteen and sign up for a quest. Oh, there they are. Sort through the research commission's leads. And the ones they deem worth our attention become quests. Talk to the handler. Let's get Over the here. investigation. The lift makes getting around easier. Ah, that's pretty cool. It just gives you straight away. What the fuck? Oh, it's literally a chain with just like a hook on it. <laughs> I thought it was an actual, you know, lift. Right on time. The guild teamed us up for a reason. From now on, you're my hunter and I'm your handler. I'm the bread to your butter, got it? Oh, yeah. The Fifth Street first mission is to survey the Jagra's habitat. Then we got to call a certain number of them, cull a certain number of them in order to secure the area. We can depart as soon as you sign up for the Jaguars of the Ancient Forest quest. You ready? For? The new world you cannot do this right now. Quests involve blah 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 blah. Option and quests, events. Yes. Slay seven Jaguars. <clears throat> free, you're free to explore Asteria until preparations for the quest are complete. Grab a meal in the canteen, show up your supplies and provision stockpile, get lit gear from Smithy, blah blah blah. When the quest is ready to begin, you'll see a notification there. Once you're prepared, press blah blah blah, turn to standby. Yes, I'm fairly sure. Do, do, do. Yes. Oh, that's pretty cool. You just go straight there. You don't actually have to walk. That's nice. Time limit, 50 minutes. Well, seeing as right, I only want this video to go on another 17 minutes. Let's do a quick review of quest rules. Rule number one. Complete the objective to complete the quest. Easy, right? No shit. Sure. Each quest has an objective. You can't consider the quest done until you complete that objective. Our current objective is to eliminate a specified number of Jagras. Let's check them out. D anyone else get annoyed by the uh, ponytail going into the back of her head? <laughs> that really annoys me. We ran into some Jagras on the way to base. The small monsters, remember? Not really. I think we saw them oh, those. Here. Want to check it out? <clears throat> not really. Rule number two. Use the supply box. That's not a rule. The commission supplies us with a loadout of certain items for each quest. They're in the supply box over there. Have a look and decide what you should take along. Ready to go. <laughs> rule number two. Use a box. Oh, yeah. oh fuck me. Hey, partner. Regular old empty file. Nothing more, nothing less. Empty file. Oh, you cannot take any more. Select item, draw weapon or R2. Want to get going? Aim slinger. Uh huh.
Right, Vader's circle. Do 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 do. Oh, how do I do that? The fuck? Ready your weapon before attacking. Keep in mind that what you're able to do depends on whether or not your weapon is drawn. When you're investigating or gathering items, you'll generally want to keep your weapon sheathed. Genuinely. Like gathering sites and monster positions on the wildlife map for you. You know how her hands go through the blades as well? That's a bit weird. Whatever. Get that. Very nice. You can gather honey and mix it with a potion to make mega potions. Mega potions. What an original name. <laughs> I do like how Over the little uh, piccolo thingies. Oh, there's something there. Needleberry. A nut covered in needle like spines used to make spread ammo. A pack of Jagras. Those are the monsters we're after. Let's see how you hold up when you're on your own. <laughs> Spore puff. Demon mode? What the fuck does that even mean? I hate how the weapons sort of just... Put themselves away after a while. Oh, why the fuck do they keep putting the weapons away? That is really fucking annoying. Oh shit, I keep putting my weapons away myself now. They're on the run. Don't let them get away. Grab all the monster materials you can. You can use him at the smithy. Uh, um, they're running away somewhere. Do 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 do. Over here. Over here. Well, fucking tell me where you are then. Yeah, it just annoys me how like the weapons keep putting themselves away after the sec after like two seconds of being out that's that is ridiculously fucking stupid like if i want to put the weapon away i'll fucking put the weapon away <clears throat> i guess you have to go down here double slash evade yeah what the why the fuck do you do that Oops. Use whatever you can. The dual blades are close range weapons made for hitting prey with a flurry of attacks. The demon mode is super strong, <coughs> but it eats up stamina. Okay, so that's a different move set. That's pretty weird. Hmm. Oh no, don't do that, you fucking idiot. Do, do, do. Come on, die. Keep it together, okay? 
The weapon is losing its sharpness. Create some distance, then use a whetstone. Okay. Turn home and report back to the Right. Collect their materials. Sharp claw. <coughs> so as a tutorial for combat, that was fucking terrible. Like, not gonna lie. You would have thought it would uh, pick something else. But no... Yeah, so I can't say I'm like very impressed with uh, with that. Uh, why the fuck did you do that? Now leave me alone, you unpopular people who are not French. Quest complete. Yeah, so that. That just fucking annoys me, that tutorial. Mm, sell all. Fuck it. Send all to white unbox. Do, do, do. Um... Faints none. Oh, yay, he's level two. The cutscene has been added to the gallery. Excellent. Yeah. So, so far I'm kind of enjoying it, but I think I really have to get sort of used to the combat. And the sheathing of the weapon every two bloody seconds is really fucking annoying me. And like this, like sharpness, where it didn't... <coughs> Excuse me. It didn't tell me until the bloke said it in the middle of me playing. You know, you could have described the uh, fundamentals of combat before then. And so there's no difference in their habitat, but their numbers are increasing, I see. Jaguars aren't the only danger lurking around these parts. We've also received reports of Castodon herd getting out of hand. This must be all because Zora Ma Magdros has made landfall and has got everything what rolled up. It'd be your job to quiet them down. We'd like you to investigate this custodian herd and cull their numbers. I'm going along. Wouldn't you? Wouldn't want you to get hurt? Oh, how romantic! You can now depart on quests with other players via an online session. Turn, turn voice chat function on now. No. All right. Now that you've got some materials, um, why? Fuck. Let me guess, there's other people, like, walking around here now. We need to rebuild the camp. Wonder if you, yeah, I wonder if people do sort of wander around the camps. I'm just gonna have a look. Hmm, sp speak to the smithy. I'll do that. Hmm. Well, yeah, it would be cool if uh, other people could sort of walk around here, but... Bloody high. How high do they want to make these steps? Oh, he's a cat, isn't he? I thought he was a baboon, then. Baboon! Gathering hub. I presume that's where, like, other players are or something. Get your login bonus. Wee. Apparently there's uh, limited items and stuff in here. Your room? Not allowed to go my, to my own fucking room. That's some sort of sick joke. There you are, favor. Look who's back with materials. Step right up and welcome to the smithy. You'll be needing my services a lot. What can I do for you? What I can do for you is simple. Wherever you go out to the field and gather materials, I turn those materials into weapons and armour. Drop by whenever you find something new and interesting. 
Here, I'll give you some materials as a welcome present. You can use them to upgrade your equipment. Exit tutorial. Yes, don't really care at the moment. <clears throat> hmm. Upgrading a weapon. First, select the weapon you want to upgrade. Oh, select a weapon with the cursor and press it to triangle to add to your wish list. That's that's actually quite cool. Oh, it doesn't give me a, a preview of what weapon what the weapons look like. Bone hatchets. Bone tree or tree. That's quite cool, except you know, it's not um doesn't show you what the weapons look like. I literally go f go and pick a weapon based on what it looks like because <laughs> I'm that fucking sad. Hmm, sharpness. So I presume th that's the little gauge on the side is like the effectiveness when they're, uh, depending on how sharp they are. Do, do, do. Hunger resistance. Yes, go for it. See what this guy has to say. <laughs> Oh, cool, you can... No, I can't, because I haven't got the required materials. Right. So, yeah, that's... That's that. So, I'm probably going to call it a day for now. Um, yes. Will I play more of this? Probably. I, uh... Oh, holy shit. My, my, my. <clears throat> Excuse me. You look more hunterly with a weapon on your back. This is the armory we deal in ready-made weapons and armor. If you need a weapon ASAP and don't have the time to gather materials, we're your ticket. So newcomer, care to take a look? Purchase a weapon. Sword and shield. That's not a sword, that's a that's a knife. Oh, it only gives me the chainmail and Fucking shitty leather. Damn it. Let me guess. You can't sell this weapon. You cannot sell a kinsect that's currently paired with a weapon. Uh, what? Yes. Nobuchi has posted a quest. I presume that's an online player or something. Oh, what's down here? Literally nothing. Well, that's cool. There is actually sort of a day and night cycle then. Yes. That's uh, that's quite nice. Hmm. Speak to the handler. Iron pouch. Yes. So, so far it's um, pretty good. I'll, I would need to get it uh, to grips with the combat, though. Which I, I just find that absolutely fucking ridiculous that it doesn't... It doesn't really give you a decent combat tutorial. Seeing it's, it liked to uh, give me everything else. I'd probably just skip the, skip the uh, reading part, though. But then the better way of learning is sort of putting things into practice, isn't it? Right, um, there we go. Thank you very much for watching. If you did, um, if anybody has any tips on playing this game or whatever, uh, do let me know. But for now, I'll probably go back to playing God of War for the moment. Um, <laughs> thank you very much, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.